Dear coronavirus, that's it. I've had enough. The idea of being off, getting a break, seemed nice until it wasn't. Within a week, boredom struck. You would think solving all the puzzles you owned would cure the boredom, but heads up, it doesn't. I want to be out with my friends, but trust me when I'd say I'd much rather live to see the end. An end of a virus that took the world by storm and made everything stop. We're walking outside, seems like rebellion. The shot of getting toilet paper at the store is one in a million, and wearing masks has become the latest fashion. But hey, at least we're staying six feet apart, right? It seems that something new with this virus comes up every day, whether it's not having enough protection equipment for the first responders, not having a vaccine yet, or that it seems that the virus is taking more and more away. Soccer game, canceled. School, canceled. Anything you were planning to do, canceled. When will it be enough? Can it just stop? Dear world, we can do this. This is a time we can't be afraid to hide our feelings. If you're lonely or scared, please say it. There's so many good things in this world to see and do, and we need you. So tell a friend or an adult, tell a teacher, or maybe even your next door neighbor. Struggle is real and it is all right, but know we are in this together. I long for the day when I get to do the simple things, the ones we took for granted, like going to Starbucks and getting a coffee, going to movies with friends, or even driving outside of the state. But we're told not today, so here I am, sitting and waiting and waiting. Waiting for the day the TV might have a newscast written of the coronavirus. Waiting for the day I can gather in large groups, the day I can eat in buildings and walk through Target when I'm bored. I'm waiting, but I don't know when that will happen. So I've determined that it's time to live with hope and goodness. This world is so good and it is going to get better. I figured out that life will return to its busy self eventually. It's working, it's working, the numbers are showing. Just look it up on the World Wide Web. We are working together to flatten this curve I've endlessly read. So please, just stay home. Together we got this! So maybe clean your room, zoom a friend, read a good book, or maybe even learn to cook, so that soon we can see each other face to face once again. And I can't wait for that day. right now to be following the CDC guidelines and maintaining physical distancing when you're out in public. This is very important so that we can help continue to flatten the curve and make sure that everybody who gets this virus can get treatment in the hospital if they need it. Currently in the United States there are over 1 million cases with 60,000 deaths and worldwide there are over 3 million cases with over 235,000 deaths. But we are working together to be able to flatten this curve. Even though there's so much going on in the world right now, just know that there's still some goodness in this world. You can even check out John Krasinski's newest project that you can find on YouTube called Some Good News, and it highlights all the good things that are going on in the world. And he even hosted a prom last week. Around the world, the coronavirus has been hitting everybody so differently. For example, in Wuhan, they were able to try and open up and restart life once again. However, they have been running into issues with trying to open everything up 100%. So it might be a little while longer. Also, in Sweden, they have not imposed a national lockdown and they have seen an increase in deaths compared to the countries around them. So, make sure you are maintaining physical distancing and continuing to follow the CDC guidelines because it is very important that we flatten the curve so we can return to life as soon as possible.